Welcome to the Google Drive Student Introduction video for Oak Hill students. In this video, we'll show you how to log in and use Google Drive to ensure all of your school work is secure, backed up, and accessible. The steps performed here will be done in a web browser so can be performed on devices running Windows or Mac OS. It's important to know what Google Drive is and how it works so you can understand what purpose it serves and how it can benefit you and help you manage your school work. Google Drive is a cloud storage solution and all Oak Hill students have their own personal Google Drive that is directly linked to their Oak Hill student account. Storing your school work in your Google Drive is very important. It means your school work is automatically backed up and can then be recovered in the event of your device being lost, stolen, or damaged. It's critical that students do not store their files in locations such as the desktop or other folders on the local computer, like the Documents or My Documents folders. As these folders are not automatically backed up to the cloud, like they are with Google Drive, any files stored in these locations will potentially be lost if something were to happen to your device. To access your Google Drive, open the Google Chrome web browser on your device. In the address bar at the top, enter drive.google.com, then press Enter. Next, click on the Go to Drive button. Enter your Oak Hill student email address into the text box that appears, then click the blue Next button. On the subsequent sign-in page, enter your Oak Hill student email address into the username text box and your Oak Hill student account password into the text box underneath. Then, click the blue sign-in button. Here you will see the Google Drive workspace. We don't have any files or folders in our Google Drive yet, so let's go ahead and create some. From the left-hand menu, locate the option for My Drive. If you're using a Windows device, right-click on My Drive, or if you're using a Mac, click the trackpad with two fingers over My Drive to open the context menu. Select the option for New Folder. Enter the upcoming school year for the new folder name, then click Create. The new folder will now appear in the main section of the Google Drive workspace. You can also view the same folder by clicking the small arrow next to My Drive in the left-hand menu. Let's repeat the process again and create another new folder within the folder we just created. If you're using Windows, right-click, or on a Mac, click the trackpad with two fingers on the folder you just created. Select the option for New Folder. This time, we'll call the folder English and use it to store all the files for our English class. Click Create to create the new folder. We can click the small arrow next to the original folder we created to expand the folder tree so we can see the folder we just created. Let's repeat the process one more time and create another new folder within the English folder. If you're using Windows, right-click or on a Mac, click the trackpad with two fingers on the English folder. Select the option for New Folder. This time, we'll call the folder Term 1. Click Create to create the new folder and expand the folder tree by clicking the small arrow next to the English folder in the left-hand menu. You should now have a nested folder structure like you can see on screen now. You can see how creating a folder structure like this within your Google Drive can help you to organize your school work by having a separate working folder for each subject and for each term. Next, we'll go ahead and create a new document within our English Term 1 folder. If you're using Windows, right-click or on a Mac, click the trackpad with two fingers on a blank area of the Google Workspace. Select the black triangle next to Google Documents, then select Blank Document. This will create a new Google Document which can be used for word processing. The first thing we'll do within our new document is to change the name. Move your cursor to the top of the screen where you can see Untitled Document. Click the mouse and then change the name of the document to My First Document. Naming your files and documents appropriately can help you find them more easily, especially when you have a large amount of files within your Google Drive. Press the Enter key to change the document name, then move the mouse cursor down to the blank document to begin editing. Type some text into the document, just a few words or a sentence, and once done, go ahead and close the current browser tab that our document is in. You will now return to the Google Drive workspace and you can see the Google document you created in the main window. Double-click the document to open it and notice how the text you previously typed into the document has been automatically saved. This is a key feature of working with Google Documents. 
It means that your work is automatically saved into your Google Drive while you are working, so in the event of your device or browser window crashing, you won't lose any of your work. Lastly, the folder creation process we previously used can be repeated to create folders for all of our other subjects under the folder we've created for the upcoming school year. Remember to create subfolders under each subject for the four school terms each year. This concludes our Google Drive introduction video. The key things you need to remember from this video are outlined on screen now. Firstly, your Google Drive account is directly linked to your Oak Hill student account, so sign in using your student account details. Remember to store all your school work in your Google Drive, so it is automatically backed up to the cloud. Files stored on local computer storage, like the desktop or documents folders will not be automatically backed up. Finally, remember to create a folder structure to help organize your school work.